What's up YouTube, Sweatpants Joe here. It's another hot dog review. This time I have Dietz and Watson. Dietz and Watson hot dogs. I have a hot dog shirt on today. Um, Dietz and Watson, they're from Philadelphia, uh, made in Pennsylvania. Beef Franks, um, handcrafted since 1939. Um, it's an eight pack New York brand hot dogs. I had another one too, but I went with the New York brand. Um, natural casing hot dogs. I'm gonna, they're eight for one. That's an eight for one pound hot dog. So it's a little on the smaller for my liking. I prefer seven for one. Anyway, I'm gonna cook these up and uh, we're gonna try these Dietz and Watson. Beef Franks from Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. What I like about this is um, it says right here, and you can't really see it because it's all warped, but it says New York brand Beef Franks made in Pennsylvania, juicy beef frankfurter in a natural casing, seasoned with a touch of garlic, great on a Kaiser roll with mustard or sauerkraut. Doesn't say anything about ketchup. No ketchup. You don't put ketchup on your hot dog. Well, unless you're having a West Coast bacon wrapped hot dog, that's the exception. I love it when the hot dogs are together like that with the casing and you have to separate them. Love it. That's how you know it's a good hot dog. It's gonna be a good hot dog. I did one plain and one with mustard and relish. Let's try these hot dogs. Regular ballpark brand buns. Nothing's, nothing fancy. Okay, first bite of the plain hot dog, the Dietz and Watson. I think I left it in the toaster a little too long. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's really good. Garlicky, like right off the bat, I got hit with garlic. Um, a little bit of spice, a little bit of sweet, because it has, you can taste it has a little bit of sugar. And on the package, it said it had a gram of sugar. That little gram goes a long way, but this is, this is a good hot dog. And that natural casing is just gonna trap all the flavors in and it's gonna be good. Let's try one dressed. Here we go. The mustard and relish Dietz and Watson hot dog. Mmm. You know what, next time, I'm gonna leave the mustard, I'm gonna leave the mustard on, but I'm not gonna put any relish. The relish kinda takes away from the flavor of the hot dog. And you kind of want it to be an accent. Certain hot dogs relish taste good on. This hot, this particular hot dog, you're gonna wanna eat it plain. There's some mustard, maybe some sauerkraut. Maybe some uh, grilled onions, some chopped up some onions on there. I'll have another bite. I'm gonna finish them though, it's fine. On a scale of PU it stinks to sunshine lollipops and rainbows. The Dietz and, oh, let me show you the inside of the hot dog. The Dietz and Watson hot dogs from Philadelphia. They get in, I like it a lot. They're really good hot dogs. I'm really enjoying this. I got it at Vons. I didn't get it in the hot dog section. It's kind of in the section by the deli with the premium meats. They kind of have a whole Dietz and Watson section over there with all their condiments and all their lunch meats. And this was in that section over there. So if you wanna find the Dietz and Watson, you gotta go to Vons and go to the deli. And that's where you're gonna find it. You're not gonna find it with the rest of the hot dogs, but it's really good. Let me know in the comments below if you've had Dietz and Watson, if you like them. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna enjoy these hot dogs. I'm gonna make another one. I'm gonna make another one. I'll see you next time.